Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Main Assembly. Today we're going to be using hover pads in order to make a f sort of flying car. So I'm going to be using this car. This is the Rolero XTG HE. This is the hover edition, I guess you could call it. Very nice car. Normally drives on all fours, all wheel drive. Pretty nice steering, a failed anti-lag system. As you can see, I gotta take that out and figure out how to properly program it. But otherwise, let's get this baby up in the air. Okay, so guys, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a hover pad and I'm just gonna slap maybe about six of them on the bottom here. That should be enough to lift it off the ground. So I'm gonna po probably put one there, probably like one here. You know what, just for good measure, I'll put one right here. Um, probably right here. Yeah, seems about right. Um, let's see, how does this... Okay. I'll put one here and one right here. I think that should be enough. Okay, guys, so here's the programming. I've put in a new CPU just for this hover mode system. And so basically I have set up here different inputs coming from the docking station. So as you can see, I have my DA, my steering, my WS as my forward, backward, and the G to toggle the whole mode. So what this should allow us to do is to route the controls over to this CPU where we can work with them and the hover system so we can actually fly. So next thing we're going to want to do is get this guy up in the air in the first place. And for that, we'll need a toggle block or a toggle node that's going on there. So we'll need a toggle node, and then we'll need to gather each of these into a big group. So, see you when that's done. Okay guys, so let's see what we got so far. Oh, that actually works really well. Awesome. Seems like we're flying pretty much nice and level here. We don't seem to be drifting or moving anywhere, so that's also nice. Okay guys, so in order to steer, what we're going to want to do is grab the hover pads and grab the steering blocks and then just plop those into a giant group like we did with the uh, hover nodes. So what this should allow us to do is lean it left and right. Rotating wise, I don't know. We can fix that if we need to. So let's see what we got. I'm going to stop and then, ooh, okay. Um, hello? Okay guys, so I think I figured it out. So the problem is I think we have to be moving in order to actually steer. So if I get a running start here, and then I hop in the air, then you'll see that we're, we'll be able to fly. Oddly enough, that's how this works, or seems to work, so not sure why. But, I mean, we sort of have our steering taken care of. Now we just gotta make sure we can rotate. And in order to rotate, I think what I'll do is I'll grab a RTG thruster, RCS, okay. An RCS thruster. I'll plop this somewhere in front where I can't really see it too well. I think right there is good. And then we'll have it, where is it? We'll have it so when we hit left and right, it'll actually also use its left and right in order to rotate the car. There it is. Um, so here what we're going to use is the right left. Hopefully it's in the right order so it doesn't go all reversed on us. Okay. Sort of works. So we just need to increase the thrust a little bit. And that should be good. I definitely could use a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is grab another one. We're going to put this in the back and, and we're going to have this guy do the same thing but in reverse. So now what should happen is they should both work together to rotate us around a relatively central axis. And then that'll make us fly, or spin, at least. So if I hop in the air here, 
And you'll see we're actually rotating, which I think we need to yank the power all the way up. There we go. Kind of works. Honestly, I think we could use a little bit more. Let's see if I can just take advantage of mirroring to get extra thrust. I don't know if that's how exactly how mirroring works. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, I will put it here. So in order to move forward, what we're going to do is basically the same thing we've been doing this whole time. We're basically just going to grab this forward back, and for all of them, basically. And then that should actually be all we have to do, hopefully. It's not going to be very fast going straight, but we can fix that, I think. Like through the use of jet engines, that could work. After hooking up a few RCS thrusters, or 3578, whatever. So now, we should be able to move. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so another input that I did forget about was the spacebar for the braking. So we're going to do that. So let's put this in. And then we should be able to simply do that whole brake thing with this. Well, let's check it out. And for those of you paying very close attention, yes, I did catch my mistake. Okay, so now I've got the right programming in there. Let's see how it looks. So that's forward. That's, yep, there we go. It breaks. Beautiful. So ideally... Whoop. Hey, here we go. Let's see how it looks from in here. The hovering, that is. Okay, that's cool. Nice, except that sudden dip is really weird, so I think I'll turn that lean way down. I think that running start really helps. Sort of seems to work. Just gotta make sure everything's blowing in the right direction here. Which I think it is, so that's good. Oh, I see those front. If you look closely, you can see that those front RCS thrusters are actually going the wrong way. So I think that should be the only one we have to flip around. Oh, well, let's find it. So it's 05. So we got to take out 5. And then we got to negate it. So now it should work ideally. It should work really well. Okay. Actually getting some decent speed already. Although, if we really wanted to, we could use jet engines. So let's try that really quick, just to see how this works out. Okay, that's definitely going to be a problem. <laughs> it seems like they're turning on even when we don't want to, and there should be an easy fix for that. So I'll show you guys that one really quick. Whoa, game lag there. So now if we hit space, oh wow, that was really immediate. <laughs> so now you'll see we got a lot more speed, which is pretty nice. Definitely is slow to turn like this. I wonder if that uh, rocky motion might be caused by the rear wing there. Odd. Oh, that braking is insane. Wow. I think I'm going to move these back a little bit more even. There we go. Should be good. Actually, you know what? That'd be kind of cool if we put them right there. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I'm surprised. So, in order to make sure everything turns on when we want it to, not just any time, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of these by 1 when we want them on, and when we want them off, we multiply them by nothing. And how that's going to work is we multiply them by the, the switch that determines if this stuff is on or off. Oh, whoops, and I didn't even realize I hooked it up here. So basically, this is the guy right here. So we're going to hook it up to everything else, we're going to set it on toggle, actually. So that's going to connect there. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to multiply by all this. So 
So now what should happen is when this is turned on, all this stuff will work, but then when it's off, none of this will work, which will mean either we're in or we're out of hover mode. If we're in normal driving mode, you'll see that none of the engines, none of the boosters, hover pads, or anything, none of those actually turn on. But then when we press G, they all begin to work, which is pretty nice. I think we just need faster turning, that's all we need. And slower braking, that's for sure. So in order to uh, make sure that braking is actually a little bit less, what we could do is use a clamp block like this, and we could say we want it maybe half as strong, so 0.5. And then, when we do this, when we hit brake, you'll see it takes longer to brake, but I think this is still too strong. Jeez. I guess these hover pad braking effects are just really strong because I have so many of them. That might be why. So let's go forward, and let's see what happens. It's still really slow, but if we hit the brakes, yeah, there we go. It takes a little bit longer. That's cool. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab two more jet engines just for helping us turn because it doesn't seem like this thing can really turn that quick. Ooh, how do we do this? We split. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take it, the steering input, we're going to split it from negative one to one, and then we'll hook it up to each thruster so it'll activate them individually. I'm just going to do this. I think that might be right. It might not be. Oh, those guys have to go on the multiply thing too. So that's always fun. Actually, you know what? We can just get rid of it here and we can plug it into this. So now it should happen. Yep, we have no jet engines right now. We elevate and... Okay, cool. That should be good. Awesome. Now that's fast turning that I like. We're turning nice and fast now. That's awesome. Congratulations, we just made a flying car. Until next time, goodbye!